how's it going today guys mr. green here and today we're gonna start a new project uh, I got this little utility trailer you know you tow behind a garden tractor uh, for free so I figured you know why not do a video on it and we'll get it all fixed up and you know I want to paint it the same color I have a cub cadet uh, and it's you know that yellow color so I'm gonna this one comes as black it's a craftsman uh, let me just point you down here so just a little dump trailer you know it's got the pivot and you pull the lever on the front and that uh, releases it and it's got the removable gate and it is in pretty rough shape I mean it needs some welding, it needs some tacking, it needs some bending back into shape and stuff. But by the time we're done this, this should look like a brand new trailer. So I guess first thing is, is I'm going to get set up here and we're going to take this thing apart. And any of the bolts that need to be replaced will be replaced. And we're going to get it all cleaned up, uh, strengthened up with some extra steel. And, uh, and then we'll get it all reassembled and paint it. So uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes and uh, here we go. Okay, now we're going to get started on it. I've got it up on the table and I'm just going to start the dismantling process and um, I'm probably going to speed this up a bit just so uh, you don't want to have to sit through 20 minutes of me taking this thing apart. So um, I guess we'll just
Okay, now I've, uh, I've got all the other panels uh, done. Now, all I'm doing is I'm going around first with a scraper. I'm scraping off any of this loose paint. And, uh, and then I'm, what I'm using is just a pair of pliers, uh, a couple of different hammers, and my table to get everything straightened back out. Right now, everything is kind of twisted really bad on this panel. I've got some stuff folded over here, so I'm just going to take the hammer around and just try to get this panel back into as nice a shape as I can. And yeah, I might have said this is going to look perfect when it's done or brand new. It's going to look like it's used, but in new condition. So, uh, I'm never going to get out all the pitting and the metal and that type of stuff, but that's not, it, it's a garden tractor trailer, right? So it is what it is. So, you don't want to overthink it. And all I'm doing is putting on a flat surface and then just kind of going along it and re-flattening the metal. Take the pliers, reseed them, or get them back into place. So, very simple. Uh, just a couple more little pieces here. There we go. orbiting sander to it and with an 80 grit just to kind of score up the paint get any of the loose stuff off and then I've got a bunch of stuff painted over behind me but uh, we'll uh, once I get to this panel I'll bring you back and we'll get uh, the first coat on it so we'll be back here in a minute okay so what I'm using is uh, a trim clad uh, perfect match paint um, I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the Cub Cadet, but I could not get a perfect match. So it's going to be a little bit different of a yellow, which, I mean, makes no difference to me. So all I'm doing is just because it's a nice day today, I was able to hang them up in my doorway to the shop. And the, the key is, is when you're, when you're painting with, uh, with trim clad paint or any other spray paint, is to never put your first coats, or never put any of your coats on very heavy. You want to do the thin thin coats will give you the nicest finish and you know overall. So I'm just starting going around and I've got pretty much everything else painted. I've just got these two last pieces left. So but I usually go around the edges first and then I'll start doing full strokes. And on your first coat, you don't have to try to get 100% coverage. Just try not to start the paint on the actual material. Start it as you're flowing into it. Well, 
like I said before, these aren't going to be absolutely perfect. It really doesn't matter. Then we'll do the back side. Pretty simple. Uh, there's first coat. These other ones have uh, three coats on them, so they're pretty much done, and you can see the difference. Uh, but yeah, very simple. Um, they aren't gonna like look perfect, except like I said, because this is a you know a $200 trailer that you know went brand new, and so I'm not gonna spend you know two days you know sandblasting and everything. So you know, just get the loose stuff off and giving it a fresh paint and it will make it look a lot a lot better and last a lot longer too so all right well i'll bring you back once we get to back to assembling it and uh, we're gonna get the wheels all cleaned up and uh and get this thing set back together okay so now that i've got uh most of it all painted there is some obviously some touch-ups and uh i'm not going to paint the inside until it's all back together too so now it's just a matter of going through here and reversing, uh, taking it apart. So um, I'm probably just going to fast forward through all of this again and, uh, and maybe bring you guys back. I'm not sure here. We'll see how, uh, how things go. But uh, yeah, it's just a matter of putting it back together the way I took it apart. Okay, so I've got a good chunk of it back together now. Uh, it's going pretty smoothly. I'm just now going around and tightening up all the bolts and uh, adding washers where there should have been washers in the first place. So, but it's coming along pretty quick. Got it all back together now. Um, I added. I had to do. I did have to add some new bolts um, in certain places that uh, just didn't have bolts before, and that really strengthened everything up. Um, so now I've got to bring it down, uh, bring it outside, and get the inside coated. And then once we're all done all of that, uh, we'll take an all look around and show you the dump feature and all of that. So we'll be back here. Okay guys, well, I got this project all the way done, uh, just needs the wheels to be washed up and a few things like that, um, but it is all back together, it holds the back gate straight again, and it should be good to put to work. Um, the dump feature, you just pull this lever forward, and like that, it dumps. And then back down. like that so there you go guys uh, another project done um, next one we will be working on let me get this adjusted back up uh, is this trailer over here um, it's a 2010 uh, J Featherlight and I've got to get all the floors replaced in it um, and a bunch of other stuff to get it ready to go up for sale in the next couple of weeks um, I bought it in the fall 
and now I'm going to flip it and get it out by camping season. So I've got about three weeks, four weeks before, uh, before camping season starts. So that's the next thing. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for checking out my channel. Uh, if you're new here, please remember to subscribe and you'll get lots of upcoming videos. Uh, I want to show that uh, I built a custom outdoor kitchen for on a budget and uh, all of that kind of stuff. And I'll, I'll uh, bring you up to date on all of that soon. So we'll talk to everybody soon. Have a great day.